But at Slimbridge in Gloucestershire, birds are carefully watched as they fly in by the thousand to an aviary without bars. Ornithological research is the order of the day at Slimbridge, headquarters of the Wildfowl Trust. Naturalist Peter Scott, the Trust's director, discovered that no two swans ever have the same beak markings. So now the beaks are drawn onto charts, tabulated and named. Wild Buick swans, which breed in Siberia and come to England for winter, swim so close to the buildings that they can be individually recognised by their bill patterns. Carefully camouflaged hides enable the researchers to study wild geese. Slimbridge is the traditional haunt of wintering geese, and every year birds fly thousands of miles to make a concerted swoop on the area. Studies on food and feeding behaviour are part of the Trust's programme of wildfowl conservation. With food around, the birds are only too willing to aid the researchers. It's instinctive. But sometimes animals' instincts have to be curbed and discipline instilled.